नमस्ते सत्याकाल तो कैसे हैं आप सब उम्मीद करता हूँ सब ठीक ठाक होंगे मेरी दुआ है आप हमेशा हंसते रहें मुस्कुराते रहें हमें अपना प्यार दिखाते रहें मेरा नाम है साबिर सुल्तान जी मेरा नाम है बाबर सुल्तान और मेरा नाम है सादिक और आप देख रहे हैं हमारा यूट्यूब चैनल हाजिर एक नई और एक्साइटिंग वीडियो के साथ वीडियो है जी एक दोस्त ने सजेस्ट की है और उन्होंने कहा कि आप लाजमी करिए ये वीडियो ये वीडियो है नागालैंड की और वहाँ पे एक बड़ी ही अजीब किस्म की मार्केट है चलिए मिलके देखते हैं ये मार्केट फिर उस पर करते हैं अपना रेक हमारे रिव्यूज़ को जानने के लिए वीडियो को पूरा देखिए और अगर आप हमारे चैनल पे नए हैं चैनल को लाइक कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और बेल लाइकन को प्रेस करना मांगी बोलिए तो चलिए फिर शुरू करते हैं In this video, this is food that bites back. We'll discover India's most bizarre meat market. They're very cute. And I'll sample some of the most shocking foods you'll find in this country. When it comes to food in Nagaland, is there anything mm -hmm. that's not okay to eat? No, not that fat. So anything goes. Yes. Dog meat. First, let's back Dumb. up. To get to India's iconic and macabre Mal Market, I've journeyed all the way here to Nagaland. Whoa! Now we are Nagaland. Nagaland. Nagaland is. state located in the northeast of india the language the people the culture and the food are completely unlike any food you'll find in the mainland this is the creepiest thing i've ever seen it's like a sci-fi movie when someone's making a clone of themselves and it's not quite finished yet today i'm on a mission to experience this country's most far out foods and to understand why people eat this way they're so or so leathery स्टार्ट <laughs> Open daily from the crack of dawn. Mall Market is a modern day version of the capital city of Kohima, a city of nearly half a million built upon rolling hills. The market is run mostly by tribal women who bring their own unique ingredients from surrounding regions. Ingredients like fresh produce all the way to unusual local delicacies like these guys. Are they going to buy me? No. They're very cute.
our shopping list have complete, we head deeper into the market for more. I'm intrigued by this state because so I know that diet is different from anywhere else in India, but frankly, different from anywhere else in the world. When it comes to food in Nagaland, when it comes to animals, is there anything that's not okay to eat? So anything goes? Yes. Dog meat? Yes. Cat? Yes, of course. Despite what you see here, the primary diet in Kohima includes pork, beef, chicken, fish, and mutton. Most of the exotic foods here, like the white rats, are believed to carry with them medicinal properties. Even dog meat no, is recommended no. for those recovering from wounds. Chinese You've eaten dog meat before? Chinese yes, yes, I, I often take dog meat. Dog meat is so precious for the Naga people, dog especially for the sports person. Like an athlete? Yes. If you take dog meat, they get more strange. You know, one of the big controversies around dog meat is how it's procured. You know, some places, maybe they farm it, but in some countries, people will go around, collect dogs on the street, yes. and then kill them and eat them. Uh -huh. The dogs people are eating here, yes. are they farmed, or are people just grabbing them from the street? And most of the dogs are imported from outside of Nagaland. Okay. Example, from Assam. But have you ever heard of a dog farm? No, There's not no dog such. farm. No. Oh, yeah. okay. What are some of the other animals people eat in Nagaland? Wild cat, deer, uh, wild boar. Are there monkeys around here? Yes, of course there are. Mm. Uh, you eat monkeys too? Yes, I do. Oh, so there's really no limit. <laughs> yes. Why do you think people eat so many different types of animals? Wild animals are so precious to us. They have different tastes. And different effects. Yes. Centuries ago, the Naga were once warriors. Their way of life relied primarily on hunting wild animals. The love and pride of the hunt still remains deep in the Naga DNA to this day. At least for today, some of the more extreme pet proteins will not be on our shopping list. But this, this might be. Here, we have another animal I've not yet seen. This is a woodworm. Yes. These look similar to a coconut worm, mm -hmm. but longer and a little bit thinner. Actually, it has a peculiar smell. Ah, it is a little like flowery, maybe a little like pollen. It's, it's hard to put my finger on it exactly. Well, I'm putting two fingers on one right now. This is huge. Can they bite? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Woodworms are found in dead wood from fallen trees. They're red, they're thick, fat, they have a huge head and a giant mandible. They are wood eating larvae who aspire to one day become beetles. Instead, here, their life cycle is cut short as these gooey guys are tossed in a pot of hot oil and fried. They're not moving so much anymore. Is this something you ate growing up? <laughs> when you were young, yeah. did it scare you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, scary. Okay, so yeah. it took some time to build up the courage yes. to try it. Yes. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of leathery, a bit gushy in the middle, and it has a really peculiar aroma of fragrance that goes up your nose. <laughs> what is that? It's like a little flowery. It tastes a little bit like silk. Yeah. You agree? Yes, and it's yummy. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, it tastes a little bit like dishwashing detergent, but it's not bad. This is a good starter worm. I wouldn't recommend right away that huge worm, but this one, if you're just starting out with worm, it's a good beginning worm. Before leaving the market, <laughs> yeah, yeah, introduces me to a vendor selling one of this market's most expensive, yet yeah, so much like you know, more than more than a new meta, full-time vendor and part-time <laughs> Naga influencer. When she's not selling Naga Land Strange's hits, she's parked in front of a camera, <laughs> noshing on her own recipes from one of YouTube's most far-out mukbangs. I'm so excited to speak to you, because you have one of the most unique foods I've ever seen in my life. Oh. I believe these are hornet's nests, right? <laughs> That's very cool. A majestic creature with its dark piercing eyes and black gold stripes, evoking both wonder and a tinge of fear. This is a Nagaland hornet, known for their large size and potent pain-inducing sting. Eat this thing, you get fever for one, two, three days. Really? This is a very dangerous food. Luckily, these are premature hornets, days or more from emerging as fully mature adults. There's this white, bubbly outer layer, she peels the cap off, and then she reaches inside and grabs the hornet by the head. Although she seems a little bit scared of the mandible. Oh, look how active this one is. Oh, and 
and that's the larva. And this is a middle age. It's like half larva, half hornet. It's on its way to becoming a hornet. It looks like Neo from the Matrix when he was in that big bubbly tube and he was never meant to leave. Nests like these are usually harvested during the second week of November before the hornet larva can fully metamorphosize into sting happy adults. How do you sell these? Do you sell it by the bug? Do you sell it by the nest? Once collected, the nest keeps the hornets fresh until they're ready for consumption. So about $50 for this whole nest right here. Why is it so expensive? It's so difficult to find out. Actually, the rich people, they take... Can I tell you something? Today, yes. we're the rich people. Whoa. Oh, Jito, <laughs> viewers, we have seen the video of Naga Land and it was an interesting video there. And how did you say that? The interesting Indians from Naga Land, we have seen the first time that the Indians eat all these things. We have heard about Chinese about Chinese. They look like a Kabali. I think that's what the area is. What is the tradition? There's no other one. मेडिसिन के तौर पे भी यूज़ करते हैं और बड़ी मार्केट बनी हुई है वो इस चीज़ की वहाँ पे हर किस्म का उनको वो मीट वो आपने देखा तीन किस्म के तुम्हे थे एक किस्म के तुम्हे थे तीन नहीं पहले किस्म के तुम्हे थे डॉग किस्म के डॉग थे मॉन्की थे डॉग थे और ये जो वो छोटे-छोटे इनको तो हम जानते भी नहीं ये कौन से चलें जी हर कहीं के रहन से नपना होता है हर के ही के अपना ही खाने पीने के साइ कुत्ते के नाखून उतार रहा हूँ देखिए हम पाकिस्तानी जो हैं खास करके जो मुस्लिम्स हैं हम क्या खाते हैं हम बोस्ट बोस्ट बहुत शौक से खाते हैं ना मुर्गी हो बकरे हो और चाहे वो दूसरा बड़ा गोश्त हो लेकिन फिश हो इस टाइप की जो लेकिन इंडियन बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो गोश्त खाते ही नहीं हो सिर्फ सब्जियां और फ्रूट्स खाते हैं और उनको आगे सामने अगर गोश्त कोई भी रही जैसे हमें ये लग रहा था ना कि यार वो हमें देखा नहीं जा रहा था किस तरह से खा रहा है तो ऐसे ही उनके लिए भी होता है तो हर जगह का अपना एक रहने सहने का कल्चर होता है हर तरह का अपना एक ट्रेडिशन होता है अपनी रवायत होती हैं अपने पहनावे होते हैं अपनी लैंग्वेज होती है लेकिन जो भी है जितना भी है सब प्यारा है सब हर जगह बेहतरीन है लेकिन हम जब पहली दफ़ा कुछ ऐसा कुछ देखते हैं तो बड़ा मैंने तो बड़ा शॉकिंग सा होता है तो हमने वीडियो भी पूरी नहीं देखी इसीलिए आगे बंद कर दी आगे पता नहीं क्या क्या निकलेगा लेकिन जो आपकी दूसरी वीडियो है वो हम जरूर करेंगे आज वो वीडियो करनी चाहिए थी इसकी जगह पे वो भी बड़ी जबरदस्त दुर्गा माँ या कुछ इस तरह की वीडियो है वहाँ पे जो मजबी रवायात हैं वो किस तरह से हैं तो वो भी जानने की कोशिश करेंगे वहाँ का जो कल्चर है वो क्या है और ये कल्चर को देखने ये तो बड़ी अजीब सी मार्केट है जो चाइना के करीब है तो चाइना की तरह की होगी क्योंकि वो लोग इस तरह की चीजें खाते पीते हैं और चलें जी बहुत जबरदस्त वीडियो लगी है हमें हमारे व्यूवर्स को भी वीडियो कैसी लगी हम उस दोस्त हम उस दोस्त की है हमारा उस दिन जब हमें वीडियो सजेस की है तो मैं तो कह रहा हूँ वो कैसा दोस्त है भाई तो ऐसी वो कह रहा है काले चूहे यार वो मेडिसिन के तौर पे यूज़ करते हैं चलें जी असल में ये देखें हमारी नजरों से ये चीजें हो चले हमने नहीं देखी ना कभी कि नागा लैंड के लोग किस तरह से ये दोस्त का शुक्रिया बहुत ऐसे हमें ये सब कुछ इतनी गाही मिली हमें हमें नहीं पता था यार ये ये माने वीडियो बंद ना कर दुकान मेरा शायद इसीलिए वीडियो को मैंने सेंटर में रोका है चलें जी आज की वीडियो के लिए इतना ही अगर तो अच्छी लगे लाइक करिए शेयर करिए चैनल को करिए सब्सक्राइब मिलते हैं कौन एक्स वीडियो में तब तक के लिए अल्लाह